Hi Year 1, we're going to be doing some more adding and subtracting today but first of all we're going to do some counting to warm our brains up. We're going to count in tens to start with so we're going to go all the way down our tens column together. Off we go, starting on 0, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Brilliant counting. Let's have a go again in tens from 0 all the way up to 100. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Fantastic counting. Really impressive. And then let's have a go at counting in ones from 1 to 30. We haven't done ones for a little while. We're going to count all the way from number 1 up to 30. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30. Fantastic counting. I hope you're all doing lots of counting at home every time you get a spare minute. Let's have a look at our adding. So the first one is how many sweets are blue? Let's have a look, count how many blue sweets we can see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's check again. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant, I can see five blue sweets. How many sweets are red? See if you can count how many red sweets there are. One, two, three, four, five. Five red sweets. Let's see how many sweets there are all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. If you get in a muddle in your book when you're counting, you can cross them out as you count them. So we could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you know when you've counted them. So there are ten sweets all together. Brilliant. Jacob has 11 teddy bears. He buys three more. How many does he have all together? So let's get 11 teddy bears to start with. Count them out with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's frozen. Nine. 10, 11. Then let's just count that we've got 11 teddy bears. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So he starts with 11 teddy bears and then he buys three more. So I need to get three more teddy bears. 1, 2, 3. And then we've got to see how many does he have all together. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He's got fourteen teddy bears all together. If you're really good at counting, you could start on eleven and then just count on three more. So you could have gone eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So eleven add three equals fourteen teddy bears. Let's have a look at this number problem. Oh, gone too far there. Chloe has nine balls. She loses three of them. How many balls does she have left? Let's get nine balls to start with. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll put that one there. Nine. Nine balls. But she loses three of them. If she loses three of them, do we need to add three balls or take three balls away? That's right, we need to take three balls away, don't we? I'm going to cross them out to get three rid of three balls that she's going to lose. So she's going to lose one ball, two balls, three balls. Let's count how many balls she has left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So she has six left. Brilliant. So that one was a subtraction problem. Let's have a look at some of these number problems that we've got. 12 add 4. Now you've all got 100 square near to the front of your book from when we did some counting. So you can use your 100 squares to help you or you can use some objects around the house. So I'm going to start on number 12. And how many am I going to jump? 12 add 4. How many am I going to jump? 4. Well done. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. 12 add 4 and I land on 16. Fantastic. Let's rub that out so it doesn't confuse us now. And we'll have a look at our next one. 0 add something. Oh, that's the wrong way around, guys. Let me just switch it. Zero add something equals six. Zero add something equals six. So I'm starting on zero, which I know is kind of here on the hundred square. I'm adding a number and then I'm going to land on six. So I'm landing on number six here. How many, if I start on zero, do I need to add until I get to six? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So zero, add six more, equals six. Fabulous counting. Let's have a look at these. Oh, we've got some subtraction ones this time. 18 take away something equals 10. So we're going to start on 18 and we need to count back until we get to number 10. So I'm going to circle number 18 and I'm going to circle number 10. Okay, how many does it take me to get from 18 to 10? Let's count those jumps back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 18 take away 8 equals 10. Brilliant. One more to do on this page. 13 take away 0. If I start on number 13, I take away 0. How many is 0? Nothing. 13 take away nothing. So I'm not taking anything away from 13. And what number will I stay on? Number 13. Brilliant. Sometimes we like to try and trick you with zeros. So 13 take away nothing still stays at 13. Fabulous. So today for maths, I'd like you to complete pages 10. Uh, pages 10, I'm not even reading it properly. Complete pages 30 and 31. Fantastic year one. Great maths work. Bye. Oh, sorry year one. Nearly forgot your celebrity shout outs. Your celebrity shouts outs are... Hi, Joshua Marshall Henderson. I hope you're trying really hard with your maths. Good boy. Hello to Harley John. Hi, Harley. And hello to Thomas. I hope you're doing some great maths, Thomas. Bye.